and it's our children's service. You ready? Of course I know you are. So what that means is you have your notebook and your pen out because obviously you have to take notes so that you can remember for the quiz time. Also, you have your hands ready to dance, your legs ready to rock, praising God because he has kept you. Do you know you've been, you know how many Saturdays that you've, you know, you've, you've had this great fellowship with God. Do you know how many Saturdays that we come on, we spend time together. Do you know how many Saturdays with all the teachers? Think about it. That's many, many, many Saturdays. And do you know why that's possible? Because God kept you. So that's why we praise God. One of the reasons why we praise God. Okay. And of course, we need the word of God. And that is why we we spend time to listen to the Bible stories. These are real stories, by the way, just to put it out there. They're real stories, okay? So as you listen to them, pay attention because I'm going to come back, share God's word with you. We'll discuss it, right? And then we can finish off with the quiz. You ready? Ready? Steady? Let's go. See you soon. Friends, I'm so excited to see you this beautiful morning. Are you happy? Now I would like for you to give Jesus a shout. We will be singing about the love of Christ this morning. Just put your hands together this way. Come on. Hey. All right, let's go. Your love is so wonderful. Your love is so wonderful. So Your grace is amazing. Your grace 
Now we have the lesson for the week. Please listen carefully. And now it's time for the memory verse for today. The memory verse is Genesis chapter 33 verse 10. And it goes like this. Jacob said, please, if you can find it in your heart to welcome me, accept this gift. When I saw your face, it was as the face of God smiling on me. Accept this gift I have brought for you. God has been good to me and I have more than enough. Jacob urged the gifts on him and Esau accepted. Genesis chapter 33 verse 10. Thank you. Jacob was mad at Laban. What have you done? Work some more and I'll give you Rachel too. Jacob married Rachel and worked seven more years. And now, blessed by God, you are man and wife. At long last, Jacob decided to leave Rachel's sneaky father. He took his family and everything he had and started back home. When Jacob was almost home, a servant arrived with important news. Your brother! Esau is coming. Jacob thought Esau was coming to hurt him. Jacob was afraid and prayed. God, to save me from my brother. That night, a man who was really God appeared. Jacob wrestled with the man. So God blessed Jacob and changed his name to Israel. The next morning, Jacob saw Esau coming. Jacob bowed down in fear of his older brother. Surprise! Esau was happy to see Jacob. Esau ran to Jacob and gave him hugs and kisses. Whew. 
Who are all these people? They are my family. God has been good to me. And so the two long-lost brothers became friends again. Wow, how did you find that? Okay, so many things are running through my mind, right, like yourself. But let's keep it simple for today. I'll give you a little gist, okay, before we get into the story for today. We get to talk. So, Pastor Might has been, te well, on a particular Sunday, he taught us on a blessed man. Hmm. It was such a powerful message that you too might, be, you need to hear it. Or ask your mom or dad to refresh him, you know, just teach you about it and refresh your memory because you were, probably weren't there. But it was such a powerful message. And what is so unique about the blessing is how when a man is blessed it can it can change his whole life his environment everything that concerns him so you're wondering how does that you know even relate to today's story i'll tell you so the very perfect example or one of the perfect examples of a blessed man is you know it jacob right to this story right so jacob was a guy who literally cheated his brother and should have been deserving of death like really Esau should have come back for him like big time <laughs> but you know what happened just before he was to go meet um he was to go meet Esau he was so scared like who would it be he was so scared um and he got to a point where he had an encounter that's another word for you know spending he spent time with God right in prayer we can have encounters through the word of god we can have encounters meaning you can have um a taste an experience of something becoming or someone something or someone becoming real to you so for example if you spend time reading the bible you may have heard of different things oh god is love and all but there's a time where the more you spend time fellowshipping with god reading the word of god you can be reading your bible one day and all of a sudden you're like oh, god loves me that's an encounter many people had encounters like that like paul he was on he was saul was well he was saul before he was on his way to damascus and a bright light shone on him and right that was his encounter all of a sudden he's like oh god is real so is that aha moment right this was the same for jake for for jacob and in that moment he was blessed and you know what his name changed from jacob to israel imagine my name changing from rita to ireland right because we represent nations through us nations are blessed so i want you to declare i am blessed i am blessed I am blessed. And you know how powerful that is? <laughs> it will change. Even those that are supposed to hurt you will bless you. Because blessed people get, blessed people always receive the blessing from others. No one can curse them. So I don't know who may not have been nice to you. Not everyone might be nice. But you know what? Declare it every day. I am blessed. And because of that, even people that are supposed to be mean to you will favor you whether it's at school at home on the streets wherever they'll favor you why because you're blessed just like jacob who became israel i hope you enjoyed that and i'll see you next time bye hello friends how are you doing so you know what time it is yeah it's quiz time here again so we got some questions for you today Let's get straight right into it. The first question, Isaac and Rebecca prayed for children. What was special about Jacob and Esau when they were born? A. They were both blonde with blue eyes. B. They were identical twins. C. They were five years apart. D. They were twins but looked completely different. And if you answer D, then you are correct. They were twins, but they looked completely different. Next question. Esau was the firstborn, which meant he would get everything his father had when his father died. What did he sell his inheritance to Jacob for? A. A buried treasure. B. A hunting trophy. C. 
a girlfriend, D, a bowl of food. And if you answer D, then you are correct. The answer is D, a bowl of food. Next question. When Jacob's father was about to die, he told Esau to do something special before he blessed him. What did Jacob and his mother do while Esau was hunting? A. Jacob's mother told his father to bless Jacob instead. B. They, pow they pouted about how Esau was the favorite son. C. His mother fixed a meal and dressed Jacob in a goat skin. D. They went out to help Esau find the perfect deer. If you answered C, then you are correct. The answer is C. Next question. Esau was very angry when Jacob received the blessing. What did he promise to do to Jacob that caused Jacob to run away? A. He promised to kill him. B. He promised to make him go to college and do homework. C. He promised to beat him up. D. He promised he would hurt their father. And if you answered A, then you are correct. The answer is A. He promised to kill him. Next question. Jacob ran away to his uncle Laban's house. What job did he do for his uncle? A. He became a tax collector. B. He became a doctor. C. He became a shepherd. D. He became a family teacher. And if you answered C, then you are correct. The answer is C. He became a shepherd. Next question. Jacob had... Jacob heard that his brother Esau was go coming to meet him. What did Jacob do with his family? A. He blessed them and told them that he may not see th that they may not see each other again. B. He separated them in case something bad happened. C. He gathered them together and told them to make a feast for his brother. D. He pulled out his family photo albums and showed them his brother's pictures. And if you answered B, then you are correct. The answer is B. He separated them in case something bad happened. Next question. The night before Issa arrived, Jacob wrestled with an angel. What did Jacob want the angel to do for him? A. He wanted the angel to protect his family. B. He wanted the angel to give him good health. C. He wanted the angel to give him money. D. He wanted the angel to bless him. And if you answer D, then you are correct. The answer is D. He wanted the angel to bless him. And the last question, number eight, although Jacob was scared at what would happen when he saw his brother, he went out to meet Esau. What happened when Esau came to his brother, Jacob? A. He told Jacob goodbye and that he never wanted to see him again. B. He challenged Jacob to a fight. C. He gave Jacob a big hug. D. He reminded Jacob that he had sinned. And if you answered C, then you are correct. He gave Jacob a big hug. And those are all the questions for today. Do have a nice day. Bye.